everybody, Mike Pfeiffer with Pfeiffer Hobby Supply. Uh, today, we're going to talk about these guys. Well, not really this big, but we are going to talk about drill bits. Um, how they come, how they're sized in, in uh, this small world that we live in, uh, how they're stored, how they're sold, um, what to use to drill holes with, and so on, whatever I can think of that applies to, to, to drill bits. So, let's get started. Okay guys, um, here I have a selection of uh, things we sell, as well as things that I had out of my toolbox. And we'll start, um, I think, by the sizing of, the, of uh, small drill bits and go from there. Okay guys, uh, this is a general tool number 13. Um, I can hardly live without it because what happens is my drill bits get all mixed up in my drawer and I don't know what size I need for a particular project. Another nice thing is it lets you put the drill bit in the hole to see what size it is. It also tells you what those are in thousandths of an inch. Um, it also allows you to take the item that you are trying to place on a model and put it through the hole to determine what size hole you need for the whatever you're putting on, whether it be a um, uh, horn, for instance, or the grab irons, or whatever. So our small drill bits are normally used in modeling to apply things such as these grab irons right here, or possibly drill a hole for a horn. Uh, sometimes we use larger bits to drill out radiators so that we can put grills in and so forth. But let's take a look at more. Um, you can also see if I can get a little bit closer here without losing focus, you can see that 61 is large in drill bit sizes and 80 is real tiny in drill bit sizes. So the numbers size-wise go backwards. Um, you can also see that this gives you what they are in thousandths of an inch, as I said. So this general tool, uh, number 13, is a real handy tool to have um, just to determine drill bit sizes. Let's take a look at storage units. Okay guys, here's a drill index. I, for some reason or somehow, I wound up with two of these years ago. I think they were given to me or willed to me by a gentleman who passed away, the same gentleman who I got my workbench from. But nevertheless, I have two of these drill indexes and we'll take a look inside of this one. Okay, so as you can see, this, this uh, drill index doesn't really have all of its drill bits in it. However, what you can see is it has the same info in here that is on the, uh, the general number 13 um, sizing gauge. Uh, it, this is two levels and basically holds all the same drill bits, 61 through 80, which are the common drill bits for modeling sizes. And I don't even know if these bits in here are in the right slots. But anyway, this is one uh, little drill bit holder that would allow you to um, organize your bits. Let's take a look at the next one. Okay, once again, another general tool. I don't know if this one has, a, it doesn't seem to have a number on it, so I don't even know if it's, if it's still in production or not. Uh, you know, whether it's still available or not. But it's kind of nice in that it has the correct size holes for the correct size drill. So you can see 61 again through 80. Which actually if you had this drill bit holder you could use it as your drill sizing uh, gauge as well. But like I say I don't know whether it's still available. Oh there's the number. It's, uh, it's a general number 40. I'll have to check, in, check into that and see if uh, they are still available. But anyway, I've had this one for a long time too. You can also see that it includes the uh, decimal equivalents uh, in it. So what I'm saying is there's any, way, any number of things out there or containers out there to store drill bits in. Uh, you may have something. Um, another thing is a, uh, if you have a set of drill bits that, like this, you may have an organizer like this. Um, or you may just keep them in, um, if you have multiples of each drill bit, you may just keep them in a little plastic tube or something, uh, such as the mascot uh, tubes that the drill bits come in. But in any event, these are the ways that you can store the drill bits and size the drill bits. Okay, guys, uh, there's many ways to buy drill bits. 
Um, this is a drill bit set. Uh, I think it's probably, I don't know for sure if it's probably a 61 through 80 or it may be just a, it's got 12 drill bits in it so it's probably only half of that and I, my guess is it's the upper half. Uh, this is another drill bit set by Mascot. Uh, I don't know exactly what it has in it either, how many it has. It looks like it might have all of them in it. Um, here's a uh, 20 um, drill bit set from Mascot. And it includes 61 through 80, which includes all the sizes. And the nice thing about that is, like I said before, you would have the organizer. You could put them inside there um, and then replace drill bits as you bro broke them. And you will break them. We'll get into that in a minute. Uh, another way is uh, sometimes you run across um, places that sell these. And, and I don't, I really don't know the exact purpose of these or what they're used for. I've been told they're uh, dental bits. I don't know that to be a fact. Um, so don't bite my head off, please. But nevertheless, um, they generally have the size written on the shank there. Uh, I have an awful lot of these. I don't know where I acquired them either. But uh, they come in just a myriad of sizes. Also, years and years ago, and you can see by the price on this thing and the label, uh, Walters used to sell um, drill bits individually packed, and for some reason I have hundreds of these uh, probably given to me uh, by someone. Uh, but nevertheless, these are your options as far as buying drill bits. Now, uh, on our website, and Mascot sells individual sizes. So when you get down to the smaller sizes, the smaller you get, the more likely you are to break them. So it's a good thing to have multiples of the small sizes on hand if you're doing a project. And most of you guys may know that if you've tried to use any of these small bits. Um, it's very hard to keep them going straight in and if they require or if they uh, hit any kind of resistance, they snap very easily. Uh, so, and I'll go into trying to be careful with that in a few minutes. But uh, let's move on to pin vices. Okay guys, here we have a small variety of pin vices. Uh, the only one that Robin and I sell is uh, this mascot here. Uh, it has a relatively large chuck in there and we've had several people buy it and say, well I can't chuck down to a small drill bit, but there is a small uh, chuck in the, in the handle and people don't know it's there and they don't tell you on the package that it's in there, but that there is a chuck inside the handle here. Um, you need to be able to get down to the uh, to the number 80 drill bits, you have got to have a chuck that goes all the way down to zero. In other words, you've got to have a chuck that uh, will close all the way up. Um, I'm trying to find my... This is my zero chuck. Uh, let, me, let me show you a picture. If you... I don't know if we can get that or not, but that, that chuck uh, chucks down to zero. Uh, this would be the largest chuck I don't know what it what size it goes down to. And this is a medium chuck. You can see that this it's cinched down and it still has a relatively good size hole. Uh, that particular one is made by Exacto. Uh, I use it a lot, but it but the thing I don't like about that one is it doesn't have a swivel top on it. Uh, this one here, the mascot one, has a swivel top on it. Uh, this one was another one that was willed to me at some point. And it's a screw type. When you push down on it, it it's an auto drill. Uh, it's it works okay, but I don't like it because sometimes I don't want to turn it that fast, or and it's kind of hard to hold it um, up and down if you're and push on it at the same time and keep to keep it from uh, breaking drill bits. It works good with drill bits uh, of approximately that size, which that looks like about a uh, I would say a 72 maybe or so. But, um, you know, it's all in what guys prefer. Um, this one next to it, I don't know where it came from. I've got two or three chucks for that one. Uh, it does have a swivel head, but I have no idea who the manufacturer is. So there's a whole bunch of these things out there, and you just have to find which one uh, you like, which one works the best for you. Um, like I say, I, I'm just used to my Exacto, but I like the uh, style of the uh, mascot too. In fact, I'm going to take this one out of the package and save it for myself when I get done here. So let's get into how to use the drill bits. Okay, guys. Um, 
I did find out that uh, once I opened this mascot um, that the uh, chuck flips over and you have a zero chuck on one side and a large chuck on the other side and then there's also another chuck in the handle that I think has two different sizes on it. Uh, this, this drill bit that I had on that other drill turns out it's a sixty seven so if you needed something that required a sixty seven drill bit um, what I do when I drill is normally you'll put your your drill bit on the item put your finger on the top and basically just twist the drill and you just work your way slowly and keep trying to hold it vertical and very little pressure let the drill bit do its job Okay, we're not going to drill through this piece of paper, but that's how you would do it. And the lighter pressure that you use, and the straighter you hold it up and down, and I'm not too good at it anymore, but um, the less drill bit breakage you have. And the further the drill bit goes into the material, uh, the more likely you are to move that, that pin vise and break that drill bit off. So once you get through the material, instantly pull the drill bit back out. Um, that's about the best advice I can give you on uh, using the drill bits. Um, really, it doesn't matter how long you've been doing it. Um, you're going to break drill bits. Uh, when they start getting down into the real tiny sizes, um, it's, just a, it's just a way of life. Uh, let, me give you a, uh, let me show you the difference if I can find a uh, 61 and an 80. Okay guys, here's a size comparison between a number 61 and a number 79. I didn't have an 80. But you can see that there's a vast difference in the size, relative size of these. The number 79 on the right is probably only about uh, an inch and a quarter or an inch and a sixteenth long somewhere in there um, so they're really really small and really really fragile so really the only thing is trial and error you've got to use them to find out how they work uh, and another thing I might add is when you break one of these little ones off it's really hard to tell that the tip is missing what I would recommend is holding it up to the light and rotating the end of it while looking at the the cutting end of it to see if you see two little glares as it, as you spin it around. If you don't, it's broken. In other words, you can see the light reflecting off of the cut ends of the drill bit when you hold it up at the correct angle to a light. Well guys, that's about all the info I can provide you on uh, small drill bits, but I hope it gives you some insight on what to look for when you're buying a pin vise. Make sure you have a, a zero tip if you want to go down to the number 80 bits. Um, and how the sets are sold, how individual drill bits are sold, and so on. Uh, I hope it helps you out in your next modeling project and detailing project. And that's about all I got for today. Well guys, I hope that helped you out with uh, at least... Uh, knowing how to select and how the sizes run and uh, maybe some of the tools that you may or may not have or be able to find. Um, as I said in the video, some of these tools, I don't even know if they're available anymore uh, or anything, but um, anyway, I hope it helps you out in drill bit selection and working with them. And as usual, we'll see you the next time. <music>